teachers! Have you ever had a document or a worksheet that you wish you could blow up and use as a poster or a larger frame of reference for your students? Well, the good news is you do not need to go to Staples or spend a lot of money to have this done. You can do it very easily yourself at home as long as you have the free version of Adobe Acrobat. All right, I'm about to show you how you can turn a document into a poster, but before I do that, I just wanna take a minute to ask you to please like this video and subscribe to the channel. We make all of this content here on the channel absolutely for free to help you and other educators around the world. And by taking the time to like the video and subscribe to the channel, it enables us to keep creating free content for teachers. So please take the time to do that. And now let's go ahead and jump on my computer and I'm gonna show you you how it is done. Okay, so with a lot of my math units, I like to include anchor charts where students can learn important terms and relate those terms to real world examples. The problem is this anchor chart is just a standard piece of paper size if I print it off, but it's very easy to print it as a large poster that we can fill out as a class. So I just click on the print icon in the top of Adobe and then I am going to change this to poster. And here where it says tile scale, you are going to change this to 180%. And also make sure you only select the pages that you want to print, because I only want this metric length anchor chart. And you'll see right here, it shows you exactly how it's going to print. These dotted lines show that it's going to print off on four separate pages. But all you're doing is clicking poster and then tile scale to 180% and you are clicking print. All right, so I've got my four pages, so now we just need to quickly assemble them together. The only thing that you are going to notice is most printers are not able to print all the way to the edge of the page. So you either have to cut or fold along those edges so that way everything will line up just perfectly. So I'm gonna cut along those edges and then I'm going to tape everything together. All right, so here you have it. This is my completed anchor chart, and it's now large enough that my students can see it throughout the room if I hang it up, and they can easily refer to it if I leave it hanging in my classroom. Now, just a couple of quick tips. I recommend putting tape on the front and the back when you are assembling it. Just helps it to stay together a little bit better. You can also laminate these, and that helps them to hold up for a long period of time. But this poster, took me under five minutes to create. So like I said, you can easily do this at home yourself and it costs a lot less money than going someplace else and paying someone else to do it. So I hope you enjoyed today's video and that this is a helpful little tip that you can implement in your classroom. Go ahead and leave a comment below and let me know if you enjoyed the video and until next time, happy teaching.